we made it to the last question in this section, which also means it's going to be the hardest question on the griddens. Um, but this question actually isn't that hard. I think the wording of it just usually scares students. So let's start by breaking that down. So we're given this expression, 7,532 plus 100y squared plus 10 times 10y squared minus 110. And then it says the expression above can be written in the form a y squared plus b, where a and b are constants. What is the value of a plus b? So I circle the question. I'm looking for a plus b. And again, we're told that these two variables are actually constant. So remember, anytime you see constant, it's just a number. Okay, so we don't need to be um, scared of that word. It's just a value and we can solve for it. And so when they say in the form a y squared plus b, well, you know, you'll notice that we have y squared in the expression above. We have multiple terms with y squared. And then we also have other terms that are just numbers without a variable. And so what this question is telling us is that the number or the coefficient that's attached to our y squared term is going to be a, and then b is going to be the term without a variable. So all we have to do here is actually just combine like terms and then identify those two numbers and add them together. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is distribute this 10. It's really important we distribute because of the parentheses that 10 belongs to both of those terms. So we have to multiply all the way through. So that's going to give me, oops, not 7, 3, 7, 5. Careful not to switch your numbers around like I just did. Okay, so the first two terms stay the same. 10 times 10 is 100. So that's going to be plus 100y squared. And then 10 times 110, a good trick for multiplying by 10, you just add a zero to the end of the other number. And I'm also being very careful not to ignore the fact that this says minus, so we don't accidentally want to write plus, because obviously that would give us the wrong answer. Oops. No, that was right. Okay, 1,100. So now I just combine like terms. I have 100y squared plus 100y squared. Okay, well, 100 plus 100 is 200. And then I have, I'm going to write this on the side, I have 7,532 plus, but this says minus, so I'm just going to subtract, minus 1,100, okay, well, 2 minus 0, that's 2, 3, 5 minus 1 is 4, 7 minus 1 is 6, and so that's that term, and it's positive, plus 6,432. Two. So now you'll notice, and I'm going to write this in a different color, the format of what I just wrote matches the form that the question gave us where it was a y squared plus b. So that means that a is 200, and then this kind of funky number, 6,432, is b. And then our last step, remember they're asking us for a plus b, so don't miss the last step or otherwise all of that hard work you did is just gonna give you the wrong answer. So we need to add 6,432 plus 200, four plus two is six. So that gives me 6,632, and that is the number that you'll write in your grid in.